Many sports analysts had picked the Detroit Lions to beat the New Orleans Saints today because the New Orleans Saints has a bunch of injuries on their team. So I guess the analysts felt that since the New Orleans Saints had so many injuries, the Detroit Lions would get them an easy win today and everything would be great in Detroit. Well, we're going to unpack this right now. Welcome back to Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. And if you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Remember, guys, click those thumbs up, share these videos, and also subscribe. And I appreciate every one of you that, are, that have been rocking with me thus far and continue to share the content with your friends and have them subscribe as well. But guys, let's get into let's get into this video. The Lions jumped out to a 14 to nothing lead. Basically, Drew Brees gave them a early Halloween gift where they told them they can go trick or treat seven times to get as much candy as they wanted. But the Detroit Lions, they figured, hey, this was this was some type of gag, and they decided to go ahead and stick with the easy seven that uh, Drew Brees gave them with the one and only touchdown that they scored in the first half. Drew Brees, like I said, threw that pick six. And the Detroit Lions just lost their mind. I know you guys are sitting there saying this: the uh, the Lions got the game in hand, right? Wrong. The Detroit Lions was up fourteen nothing. Check this out. At halftime, the New Orleans Saints had jumped out on the Lions, scoring twenty eight unanswered points. You heard me: twenty eight unanswered points. Yes. And then turn around, they got the ball in the third quarter, and the New Orleans Saints scored a total of thirty five unanswered points. But guys, no, heck no, they didn't have a game in hand. In the old Detroit fashion, in the old Detroit Lions fashionable way, they all they allowed the New Orleans Saints to come back and kick their teeth in. They got comfortable. They didn't want really want to engage, and they just thought you know the game was over in the first quarter. And guess what? The New Orleans Saints came back and just shut down their offense. But th this is the key thing, though. Even though Drew Brees and that offense put up thirty five unanswered points. I gotta give Sean. I gotta give Sean Payton credit. Keno Kamara and Sean Payton decided, hey, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch this up just a little bit. Let me switch this up a little bit just to see how we can get rolling here. And they started putting Kamara in motion, and they gave. They would give the ball to Murray, and I mean Murray was gashing their behinds up and down the field. And then all of a sudden, the Lions decided after they, you know, allowed the New Orleans Saints to put up 35 unanswered points, the offense started to get rolling again. And, you know, in the end, it ended up falling 29 to 35 to the New Orleans Saints. But, guys, like I said before, this is the very reason why I am not a Detroit Lions fan. Yes, I, too, am from Detroit. As you see on my shoulder here, I got my University of Michigan, Michigan shirt up there that's framed. Yes, I am not a Detroit Lions fan. Didn't like Detroit Lions. Once I watched Billy Sims go down due to injury, trying to help the team win games. That's all I have for you right now. Until next time, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. And remember, be that one and lead.